Well, hello. I'm your English instructor for English 102 online as part of the new Lawson State eCollege. And I'm just going to take you through the course. Even if you have taken an online course uh, from Lawson State before, you will find this is a very different. And all of the uh, new eCollege uh, courses are set to pretty much look the same and work the same. So if you've already viewed one for another eCollege course, um, you may or may not need this. I do have one that goes over specifics for our class, but there are a few things that are unique. Most of it is going to be the same, and it's designed that way. When you open up, you're always going to come to this page. It's uh, class announcements, and so what I put is the course name um, so that you know which course you're in because they all do look alike, and you have to click on the folder, and these will just kind of come in weekly uh, if there's some information that you need that I need to update you on and that kind of thing it would go here alright it's gonna tell you to start here so that's the first thing first piece of business but really if you've done it for one e-college it suffices pretty much for all of them except maybe the syllabus so the the course overview which is what you're watching right now um, you know it's going to be done by that particular um, professor and uh, but then again you know it should be about the same kinds of things the syllabus review is is for me the required downloads are going to be the same um, but let's just assume that this is your first so you need to make sure that the first time you do an e-college course that you have taken time to look at these now it looks like a lot but notice that these little tutorials these little videos are just a couple minutes and uh, you will be you know your grades are going to be affected by how you present yourself online so you need to know what's what the rules are a uh, particularly interest of interest uh, in my class even though it is important in all classes but because we write essays is plagiarism so you want to make sure that you uh, watch the videos there's will be an assigned plagiarism quiz you just need to make sure that uh, you know you understand that because it's not simple but it's really 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 important okay and again they're not very long um, but they are the difference between maybe you having success in college or not or you know getting in big trouble so the start here is important um, you always have a little welcome for the instructor I do have my screen set a little bit uh, narrow but you can find out background contact information where my office is on campus um, you know at the time I didn't have my office hours listed now I'm still working on the evening kind of things but I'm in my office basically Monday through Thursday 8 to 4 and Friday from like 8 to 12 now I'm in class some of the time too so it doesn't mean that you know I'm sitting in here the whole time it's just mean that's when that is when I'm on campus I do check in on the weekends not to my phone but to email and uh, that's a good way to kinda catch me if I'm n if it's not during my office hours but even during my office hours if you just need to ask a question make sure that, that you've reviewed all the materials that I've put in Blackboard for you because this is an online course alright course technology all the downloads you need, the online code of conduct, there's a few things that duplicate but you want to make sure you've checked everything. Uh, course tools where you can find a direct way to go to email, there's the calendar, it's going to have all your due dates uh, for, for your classes. Um, oh, we already looked at announcements so let's go under the next section even though I have a syllabus overview, the actual syllabus itself which you want to be able to look at and study uh, before you take your quiz and maybe even refer back is here as an attachment hopefully you know how to do that you click on when it says attached file you click on the uh, title and that's typically what you do if if it's a whatever your mouse goes over and changes to that's what you click and so you'd have to open it up and it's a pretty long document um, and you would take a look at that direct link to the calendar then uh, textbooks okay so ebook materials needed now my class doesn't have an ebook yet but I've given several options it can be uh, you know bought new okay but it's been around um, a year so it's available used and you can even rent it look how much cheaper that is and that's from amazon.com I don't recall whether I checked a chegg.com that's another source uh, for renting um, textbooks or if they had a, you know found a way to get a digital copy but that's a significant savings right there and there's all the information that you need 
There's more information about the bookstore. It's really everything you might need to know is in here. That's why it's so long. Um, I don't know that I've loaded any external links or resources. Oh, well, there is some all kinds of things in there. All right. Let's go on down. This is the most important section. Uh, this, when it says weekly, it's weekly. And this is the jam-packed section. Matter of fact, we have links that include this. But this is the core, the meat. This is your course, OK? Weekly assignments. And you'll see that you have uh, the units, OK? Everything is in a weekly unit. All this is explained on here. It tells you you're going to have some kind of engaging. It could be a wiki assignment. It could be a blog. It could be a uh, Web 2.0, what we call di Web 2.0 digital activity with a webcam video like you're seeing here. Um, there's tutorials for that. A discussion board. They're going to be very interactive types of uh, things. You'll usually have an online lecture or videos, a test or quiz over that. So this is your course. And so if you see it down here every week. I'm not sure that, you know, I'm showing you everything now. I probably set it up so you only see the week that you're, you may only see the week that you're supposed to participate. But uh, OK, and that means two, and it's over, it's over. This is not a at your own pace. Um, this is like a real class. This is a real class. It's just that uh, we have here. So everything will start with a to-do list. I'm not going to look at every unit. They all look the same in the sense that they have a to-do list. OK, so you know what has to be done that week. And let me tell you, this is the same to-do list. This is the same list of things that have to be done if you came on campus. Uh, for this class, you would have to uh, post your introduction in the discussion board. Uh, you'd have to read the syllabus and take the syllabus quiz. You'd have to read the short story, Snow, and write a diagnostic essay. Now, because you're online, you have that additional start here you know, things to make sure you're set up for that and different rules and conduct. And uh, there will be videos to take the place of some of the things that I would explain in a classroom setting. We always have our list of objectives, what, what it is we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, unit readings are next. I kind of preview them, but you click on the folder title. Okay, and I, make a, I made a link because one of the things you have to read that first week is your syllabus. Okay, and then um, whenever I can get a link, and you'll, it's not showing up as a click on link, but you could copy paste that, you know, into. Actually, I've got a link right down here. Okay, to the story. Anytime I can get a link to a story to help you, you know, I'm going to provide that since I don't have a ebook. But you'll still need your textbook. Um, and then some, you know, reading questions to help you prepare for the diagnostic essay. Remember, this is just the readings. Okay, so. Everything's separated by its specific category. The actual diagnostic essay is going to be down here in the uh, assignment or the activity where you do something. This is the one for what do you need to read. Then there's always going to be some kind of uh, video. I have one that's specifically about our assignments. Every week there's others. There's lots usually. But I try to keep them short. Um, discussion board. Whatever is assigned for that week, with the uh, and you click on it, you can get there. And then there's the click link to your syllabus quiz. So all the units will be set up like that with whatever is relevant for that week um, pretty consistently. Just take a preview. So I don't want to take up all my time uh, looking at those, because I'll look at them more in that unit one, unit two kind of overview video. So let's just go back and take a look at, at the course as far as e-college. Now because we're a writing class, we have uh, essay assignments. And this is uh, where they're submitted. And there's tutorials to help you with MLA formatting, how to submit a paper, assignment descriptions. And right now we're kind of previewing everything. There will always be a draft a week before. See, there's unit three, a draft. Unit four, the actual final big essay. Um, Unit 6, a draft. Unit 7, a final draft. And uh, then we start doing on some of them that we need outlines. OK, so they're there, but everything you want to get to, you can get to it through weekly assignments, including the discussion board, including the, the quizzes and the exams. But you have an opportunity to go directly to the discussion board. And you see our first, whoops, I don't know what that is, but. OK, um, 
the first one there and then later you'll see the ones I'm just kind of previewing with you you'll have others that you do um, and they'll appear you know according to the the unit that way you don't ac hopefully accidentally get anything in the wrong place okay so I'm letting you see everything to begin with that was discussion board if you've never used the discussion board there are videos and tips and you know all the stuff that we expect that you would pay attention to before you start getting involved in it and start getting you know grade your uh, points taken off because you're not doing it correctly so if you've never done it before these are like I said short they'll save you a lot of headache and grade issues later on because it's part of how you learn in an online environment you can sit in a classroom and never raise your hand and just listen to everybody. You cannot do that in an online class. Everybody's required to participate through it in a discussion board. It's it's homework um, and it has a grade and then there's ways it's graded. So there's the things about the discussion board. Then uh, I mentioned the quizzes and exams that you access there. The rubrics, those are the grade sheets like what do we count off on. So there will be um, in there so I have one for the discussion board and various assignments are already loaded up so you can kind of preview that alright so uh, you're gonna have to get set up with Proctor U in time for your midterm and your final exam so you know you gotta have certain things a webcam is one of them okay and then here's how you get it set up alright and um, we, we actually do have an on-site testing center if you want to come in but we have it set up for uh, Proctor U and you'll need to watch those videos you know and get registered with them before it's time to take your midterm exam because that's how they are assigned alright then let's see when you want to see your grades you click here um, at the end of the semester we have an end of course survey it won't be available to them alright this is important I mean grades are important in quizzes but if you need help we have online tutoring uh, for pretty much everything and 24 7 so and it's the only thing that kind of works with us with iPhones and iPads because they don't work for, for Blackboard uh, the rest of the time there's some videos about it and then the links to the uh, tutor, tutor website that we have um, set up for you there's ESL and ESL translators, English as a second language. All right, student support services <clears throat> and a link to the website. So you get, you may not be on campus, but you still are a student and you get uh, student support services such as help desk, um, e-withdrawing, advising, printing schedules, and so forth. So there are links <clears throat> there. You don't have to leave the website the Blackboard website. Links to the library and then ADA which is uh, for disability and let's just click on that one. Notice that like you have some headings that don't come up and uh, that's because they're just like labels. Okay, Americans with disabilities if you have not worked with this at the college level before uh, I you have to do everything through our ADA representatives and we have one on each campus and you can contact them by phone and uh, you can you know there's links to information and what you have to have and what kind of your documentation um, the documentation they're talking about here is your accommodation letter your you have to actually have your disability documentation presented to the ADA representative to get any accommodations and they process that rather quickly and provide an accommodation letter now being online uh, that could be I don't know you would have to ask Mrs. Herndon uh, or Ms. Suggs how they want that handled in terms of online uh, if you want to you know probably scan it in and send it to me by email or if they can bring me a copy I'm not sure this is a little bit new territory for this uh, but anyway th you go through them they're the ones that handle everything and until I get that documentation from them um, I really can't make any accommodations okay so it's different from if you've had take advantage of ADA in high school it's, it's completely different and it's uh, all driven by the student because you're in college and you're treated like an adult it's supposed to know what you need if you have questions though contact them they'll help you all right we are that's a course overview of everything that we uh, we have here all the buttons you know on the side that's how you access all the information um, usually the first little heading here is 
you know, just to tell you what's there. Well, I hope that helps. I look forward to meeting you in the class, and um, we'll talk again.